Slash dot dash dot slash dot dash dot. Welcome to Slash Dot Dash Dot. My name is Jack, and I'm here to tell you about my most anticipated games for 2018. Number 9 Vampire. This third person action role playing game puts us in the shoes of a character who was a doctor and has since become undead and has a conflict between uh, the morality of killing people uh, but needing to fulfill the bloodthirst of a vampire. It has a real interesting concept to me and from the trailer that I've seen it looks like it's going to be a very interesting game. Vampire's combat system uses a mix of melee and ranged weapons supported by vampire abilities that allow you to be the vampire you want to be. The gameplay is based on timing, positioning and management of different resources. Number 8. More undead, and this time it's zombies. Now, I know what a lot of people are thinking, we've seen enough zombie games to last us a lifetime. But this one does look pretty good. It has an open world setting, and it seems like your character that you play as is going to be traversing uh, long distances whilst trying to avoid the uh, zombie hordes, and it looks like there are hordes. I've seen some impressive gameplay trailers that show how many zombies can come at you all at once. Hopefully this isn't just to overhype us, because uh, I'm really looking forward to Days Gone. Number 7, Dragon Ball Z Fighter Z. This is a 2.5D fighting game uh, that brings you all of your favourite Dragon Ball Z characters. Uh, very much in the style of uh, like a Marvel vs Capcom. I've kind of been waiting for a game like this for a long time because all the Dragon Ball Z games that we've had to me don't live up to the series uh, standards. Yeah they're fun for 5 or 10 minutes but then they're very repetitive and this one looks like it might mix it up a little bit uh, having like cool combos and stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to Dragon Ball Z Fighter Z. Number 6. Detroit Become Human is the next game from Quantac Dreams, the developer who made Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. I really enjoyed Heavy Rain back in the day. Um, even though it was more or less uh, just an interactive movie, I thought there was a lot of thought put into the game and I did enjoy that experience. So I'm very interested to see how this next game is going to compare. Supposedly you take the role of multiple characters again, similar to how we did in Heavy Rain. And throughout the course of the game, uh, your actions can lead them to dying and, and completely missing parts of, of the story because of this. And I really like these sorts of games. They're a little bit different from what we play every day. And uh, yeah, that's why it makes it on my list. North. Number 5. Metro Exodus is set to continue the story of the uh, Russian survivors of a post-apocalyptic world. This time though it seems that we're going to get more of an open world approach uh, rather than the linear style that we've seen in the previous games. Which is going to make the new game a, a little bit more interesting and a little bit different to what we're used to. Combining first person shooter with elements of stealth and horror, I'm really looking forward to getting back into this world. Number 4. I've been a big fan of the Far Cry series pretty much ever since the first one. With each release we get a new and interesting scenario. Far Cry 3 in particular was one of the better games to come out of this series, probably the best game actually. It had such an interesting villain. 
I enjoyed 4 and Primal actually. So I'm interested to see the new take on uh, Far Cry with it being set in North America. It seems like they're going to be playing a lot on what is going on in the current world with some of our political leaders. And I really will be interested to see how they challenge that. Far Cry is a lovely mix of first person shooting as well as stealth gameplay. The hunting and crafting aspects are also very enjoyable. It's a subject matter of this game that's going to make it more interesting for me. Because we're, we've had so many of them now. Um, so the setting of it being in America is uh, really enticing to me. Number three. So God of War's got a reboot. Or is it a reboot? I don't really know what's going on with the series. After we finished God of War 3, it seemed pretty much like the series was over. Uh, the way it ended pretty much alluded to that. So I'm assuming it's a reboot and now Norse mythology. I'm really intrigued to see what they're doing with the series and, and, and exactly where it's going to go. And I like that it's got a fresh spin and it's a new mythology. And it'll be a, a chance for me to learn about the Norse mythology, which I know a little bit about. I enjoyed the previous run of games because it was Greek mythology, which is something that I'm very interested in anyway. But that kind of run the course now, so we'll see what Sony offers up here. Number 2. How good does this new Spider-Man game look? It kind of looks like the Arkham series, uh, with a similar sort of combat style, and also, also using the gadgets of Spider-Man, similar to what we got to use with Batman. Coming off the back of the, the Homecoming film, it's going to be interesting to see what this story is about. Uh, I think it's probably going to be its own thing, self-contained, similar to the Arkham series. And I can't wait to be swinging around the city and uh, blasting bad guys with the web shooter. Number 1. This game made it onto my list last year and it got pushed back. Red Dead Redemption 2, we thought it was coming in 2017 and it got pushed back and hopefully it's due in 2018, I believe it is. So it's a prequel to Red Dead Redemption and it's going to show us more about Dutch's gang. And that was something that I theorised last year, I, I thought it had to be a prequel because obviously Red Dead Redemption was set at the end of the Wild West era. We've seen some absolutely stunning trailers for this game and I think a lot of people who really loved the first one are just clamouring for this. I had certain issues with the first one, like lots of people say it's one of the greatest games ever made, and I, I don't think of it that way, although I did enjoy the first game. So I'm looking for this one to sort of bring me into that same uh, zone as other people that played the first game who think it's one of the best games ever. I I'm hoping that the second one lifts me into that sort of fandom as well. And hopefully it doesn't get pushed back again. Okay guys, that's my most anticipated games for 2018. What are yours? Is there anything I've missed out in this list that you think should be on here? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe to Slash.Dash.Dot for more great gaming content.